Hello, my name is Ryan Fong and I'm an English professor at Kalamazoo College and I'm really excited today to be talking with you about one of my favorite novels by one of my favorite novelists, Little Dorrit by Charles Dickens. First, I want to say that I understand that you guys are coming to the end of your reading experience of Little Dorrit and to that I want to say congratulations. Making it through a novel this long and this complex is no easy task, so I hope you're giving, you are all giving yourself a huge pat on the back for this incredible achievement. The issue that I really want to discuss today is the way that I think Little Dorrit offers a prime example of Dickens's power and acute ability to make social critiques, and in particular to critique problematic social institutions within the Victorian period. Certainly we see this in a humorous and satirical light in the Circumlocution Office and its kind of funny name, but I think we see it most poignantly in the way that Dickens describes and depicts the Marshalsea in this novel. Certainly, as you may already know, this was not an issue that was just an abstract one for Dickens, but one that was actually deeply personal. Dickens' father was someone who had a number of financial difficulties and often found himself in debt, and uh, his father was someone who was imprisoned, along with the family, in a debtor's prison. And this was a huge source of shame and pain for Dickens throughout his life, um, as this was occurred during his childhood and was deeply, deeply wounding for him. I think one of the things that I really see when I read this novel is Dickens' ability to show how these devastating social institutions work on multiple levels, the way that they affect individuals, the way they affect families, and the way they affect communities. For some of you, you might already feel very familiar with this story, as you might have friends, family members, or loved ones who are incarcerated, and so you know very personally, just like Charles Dickens did, uh, what it meant to be imprisoned and the effects that it can have. At the same time as Dickens records just how devastating imprisonment can be, I think one of the things that he also shows is the character's resiliency in this and the ability for people to make relationships even despite the forms of oppression and repression that they experience. So I think when we look at the Marshall Sea and we look at Amy Dord in particular, we might see something like her relationship with Maggie as something that's very tender, that's very personal, that's very meaningful, even in the face of the experiences that Amy Dorrit has during the Marshall Sea. In this sense, what Dickens shows us is how characters are able to build family networks and meaningful relationships across a community of their own. And sometimes this isn't even among the family members who are related to them by blood. Um, in fact, the Dorrit family is one that's famously dysfunctional and often very cruel to little Dorrit. But Amy Dorrit really res is resilient nonetheless, and what she's able to make is a meaningful world and set of relationships with herself, uh, with, with among her friends and the people that she meets, um, that allows her to sustain herself and continue to thrive and grow. And so that's one of the things that I would encourage you to think about as you reflect on this entire experience of reading the novel and look at all the various characters and plots are what are the ways that Dickens both critiques institutions and what are the ways that he shows how humans during this period in time and even perhaps beyond respond to them in ways that are meaningful and ways that make meaningful lives for themselves. So I hope you've enjoyed your time reading Little Dorrit, and I hope that it not only helps you see something about what the 19th century uh, was like in Victorian Britain, but how Charles, Charles Dickens' ability to depict these issues really can resonate with some of the experiences and lessons that we need to learn today. Mm -hmm.